What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Modern Day Musing. My name's Tom. I'm back at the creek where I filmed my first video to kind of calm me and hear that, that nice noise, help me reflect. And today we're going to talk about the title name itself. What is musing and why I think it's so important, especially in the modern day, hence the title, Modern Day Musing. So let's jump right into it, guys. get right into it as I talked about musing what is it to me there's I had a question asked what is this musing you're talking about so really it is all about a, a state of reflection deep reflection that's how it is defined and then to take it a step further I, I believe it's it is an internal process which you have to do emotionally and, and with some logic so to, to kind of better understand yourself and once you've kind of delved into that emotional side, you then go into a, a logical process of, okay, how do I self-actualize? So how do I find a purpose, which hopefully you found by emotionally reflecting, because it's a, that, that emotional reflection, that, that's how you figure out what you like, the things that really engage you, that really stimulate you. And then once you've found those, you then take it a step further and you logically try and develop premises, develop ideas to get to that conclusion, which is, say you want to be a doctor, that's, that's going to be your purpose. You've got to, how to best become that. That's, that's the, where the logic kicks in. And moreover, you muse on topics, which then, if you're musing on a, uh, on a topic, such as the education system, like I did in my last video, there's a shameless plug, <laughs> um, that requires some logic, so, some premises again, we, we need, so your conclusion, we need to change the education system. Uh, here's the reasons why. And furthermore, here's some more reasons how we do that. And then that, those reasons equal a better education system because. So again, you need the, the mixture of both. Because that's what life is about. We're, we're rational beings, but we're also emotional. Very much so. And if you don't really think about your emotions they they can manifest in bad ways or control you such as an emotion like resentment so again that's why it's twofold emotional and logical that's that's when we're talking internally about yourself and these ideas and how you can implement them in your own life externally i mean you have to then voice these thoughts and share it with people find communities such as this channel to talk about these issues because it'll help you gain some insight if you hear someone else who's going through the same thing or if you have another perspective that can help you with what you're going through or with a common goal you've all discovered and you're trying to solve so that's the external part of it so those are the four ways the four things I break musing down into and now I'll give you an analogy that'll kind of it, it represents why I think musing is so important so think about you yourself as a tree how do trees grow and that's kind of the ultimate goal of a tree you know you grow in it it becomes a, this massive structure this massive thing and it and how does that it achieve that end that purpose it has roots roots i would say are, is musing that process and the nutrients that's what helps it grow. So the nutrients is what you're musing on. You can't, when you're in a state of deep reflection, that means that what you're doing, what you're reflecting on is deep. It's of value. It's an important topic, such as who am I? Or what, what can we better in the education system? If you watch my last video, that was the big topic. So you need to first muse and start that process. And as I said in my last video, I don't know if we teach that enough, deep reflecting so at first it might be hard to deep reflect for you, myself, any of us. So you have to kind of do it and make time at least every week so that you become better at it. And then, so once you've started that process, you have your roots embedded in the, the soil that is all the, 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 the plethora of ideas out there and, and things you can muse on. You've got to make sure you're, you're choosing the right nutrients so that you will then grow and reach your, your ultimate purpose, find your ultimate purpose and hopefully 
become that person, that thing you're attaining to be, those goals you have. And you can take it a step, for, a step further and say with society, how does a society become what you want it to be or, or improve? It starts with reflection and you have to be reflecting on the right things. And that, that is why I, I value musing so much as I think we all do, just the current culture, the current structure of, of society doesn't put that much emphasis on it and it's not taught as I talked about in my other video. I'll plug the video one more time. <laughs> so we need to get back to that and that's why the title is Modern Day Musing. As I've said in other videos, I see it as so paramount, so important that we get back to doing this, making time for this process in the modern day. Because as again, I've said in other videos, we have so many opportunities, which if you don't think about, you will not seize. And we also have so many obstacles or challenges, which if you don't again deeply reflect, they will impact your life and they can be a detriment to your lives, to society, etc, etc. So I hope this, this description, this elaboration helps you understand why I term this channel modern day musing, because that's what all these videos will be about. That kind of philosophical, psychological analysis, discussion, about the modern day, about life, and the, the, this journey we're on that we call life, and how, how, many, how to best seize it, how to best utilize it. So I hope this helps, guys. If you have any comments, any thoughts about it, please comment below, share the video, subscribe. Let's start this Muse movement. And that is the last part, starting a Muse movement. That's what we need to build a community, to find communities of people like us that value this. And to be honest, I think all of us will, if you're, if you're open to this idea, we'll all value it because to some degree we all do it. It's just, do we do it enough and do we do it well enough? That is the question. So again, guys, I hope you're having a great day. Plenty more videos to come. And yeah, let's start this Muse movement. <music>